Welcome back to another Advanced Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time we're gonna do some cheap wind effects as you can see with objects here and a little quick announcement and I guess I'm just gonna do that here. My patrons decided that they wanted to get uh, well, their hands on those projects which are you seeing in those YouTube videos and if you want to get your hands there as well, well link in the description below. So, if you're interested how to do that stuff, stay tuned. This is 1UP Indie, I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video and ring that bell if you can. And if you are really really nice to me, maybe consider sharing my stuff because this is how I boost or get the biggest boost to my channel. So let's get right into the meat of it because it's not too difficult in principle. So let's get rid of all that stuff because I have to explain it. So let's go away here. Once for example we start the stuff again, as you can see this is an object. Um, those guys are not moving because I haven't put in any stuff. And we achieve our trick with a draw sprite. And here we go, position it. For example, if we press F1, then this looks a little bit strange because here uh, you have like four points and depending how you kind of take those four points and skew them, you get a different position. So what basically what we are doing, for example here, I have my palm, these are those positions. And then bam, let's go. I don't know, a few pixels to the right and with the same distance to the left and then this is our result and then this is how Game Maker does it, as you can see. Oh, okay, um, this is how it works in principle. And what are those points? Well, they are your collision mask. And here, this is point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4. So basically this is just going clockwise. So this is the first position, second, third and fourth. And they of course need two points, which is an X and the Y one. So, okay, didn't want to do that. How can we set up? Basically, we just go draw a sprite position and we take the image index, the image, uh, the sprite index and the image index. Basically, we're just changing nothing because uh, to your object, we have assigned a little palm here. And then we take the top left and uh, yeah, the top left point, which is B box left and B box top. And then if you're just wondering what are those things, they're just being the, they're just the points from your bounding box, which for example, if you're going in here, collision mask, bounding box, this is the same. First point, second point, third and fourth. And I'm just putting them in. So if I'm it's starting the game again, nothing is happening because I'm just drawing the same stuff. And that's basically it. But now we want to do something and what do we do? We want to skew it a little bit on the X axis and that's why I put in a specific point which is X skew. And then for example if you go to our room we're just skewing this point and this point and then we just take it a little bit to the right. And this is basically it. So we're taking those points bam to the right. This is the idea behind it. And how do we do that? with, well, a little timer, I just call it delay, you can call it whatever you like. So basically we just have a timer, it runs down, and once it runs down we want to reset it to a random value, let's say, I don't know, something, let's say between 10 and 25, but of course you can do it whatever you like, or just make one static one. This is just for, for, for me, so it looks a little bit more um, well, random and then here comes the magic part and so we just have our skew and that one we want to change and then of course we can again go for some random values let's say between 6 and 14 and then well the top left and the top right point will be skewed to the right and this is basically it. For example, once we started, then we should already have a pretty choppy effect. 
but the effect is already working pretty neat. As you can see, they already move, but it feels a little bit choppy. But for example, if you want to have that effect, but then we're pretty much done here. But if you want to have it a little bit more smooth, therefore I just set up a variable which I called alt skew. There are store before we change our skew, uh, store it uh, once in our alt skew and then we do a little linear interpolation because I love lerp functions. Bam. Then after we set it up to a new value, we just say, all right, check it again and then go between a value between our new value and our old and go a linear interpolation between uh, more to the old one. And once we start it again, it should look a little bit more smoother because we are not going out too much. As you can see, it's already much better. And for example, now we could be finished if we want it. But of course, we can do a lot more because here I'll just show you a few more things. But this is additional stuff. So this is like a little bit of fine tuning. And then I say, all right, I want to do some lerping so the the twitching isn't too big and then I say alright let's take our skew and update it and lerp it with between um, its original value and its maximum value and well then then it will just go to a maximum value so it will go a little bit to the right let's say 0 0.1 and then of course we need to define our max value which I just say, let's go for and do again, random stuff. So bam. And then of course, as you can see, the maximum value should be a little bit higher than the one which we are assigning all the time dynamically. And let's check out how this looks like. And now, as you can see, it looks definitely much, much smoother. And then we don't have this completely choppy movement here, which is kind of nice. Then, well, we are pretty much done. So that was it. Hopefully you uh, <laughs> enjoyed that tutorial and see you the next time. Have a good one. One up indie.